So with the iPhone 13, Apple is literally going all out. It's not just about the design for a user but enhancement, stability and perfection. The innovation Apple is using in the new iPhone 13 series outweighs the notch part. So new news from Ming Chico says Apple is doing something never done before, something Samsung, OnePlus or Xiaomi have never done. So yes, they are implementing low earth orbit LEO satellite connectivity in the new iPhone 13. This will allow users to make calls and send messages in places without 4G or 5G cellular network. For this, Apple have joined hands with Qualcomm for X60 baseband chip and that supports the satellite connectivity. SpaceX, Starlink and Global Star, two massive brands who deal in satellite, but Apple and Qualcomm are working with the later. Yeah, of course, network operators have to work with Global Star to get this done. So this all sounds science fiction, but it is really happening inside a smartphone. This is the future of connectivity. You go to a place where there is no to less 4G reception. You can rely on this device for making calls and messages. This will solve many issues explorers or those who travel face. So yeah, this is it. Some news coming in from Mac rumors. The iPhone 13 is coming with some new colors like matte black finish and bronze. The bronze one we saw in live images and the matte black finish is gonna look somewhat like this. And there's more add on to this design. The iPhone 13 edges might not attract fingerprint because Apple is using anti-fingerprint coating in this stainless steel frame. We saw the modules is getting huge new cameras and now in the software section the iPhone 13 users will have an option to capture stars via astrophotography. There's also ProRes and portrait video mode coming in so Apple is trying new features in this one. Max Weinbeck says Apple is also improving the microphone. They are using beam forming microphones in the iPhone 13. Great enhancement for vloggers. Finally, the MagSafe magnet inside the iPhone 13 is getting stronger and larger so they won't slip easily. Some news on Apple Watch Series 7 coming in two variants. On the software part, the watchOS 8 for Watch Series 7 might have some new cool watch faces for large displays. With Apple using boxy design, Apple is increasing the display size so they'll do some changes in the software too. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.